Welcome. Okay, today we're going to add positive and negative integers, but we're not going to use a number line. Okay, I have another video on how to use a number line, and using a number line is a great way to do it, but I want to show you another way. I have a negative zone and a positive zone. Negative zone is where my negative numbers go. Positive zone is where my positive numbers go. Now I want to show you something. When I have matching numbers in my negative and positive zone, they cancel each other out and are zero. So if I walk one step forward and then one step back, that equals zero because I'm right back to where I was when I started. So we have to keep that in mind as we move forward, adding and subtracting negative numbers, positive and negative numbers. So this first problem, 6 plus a negative 2. I need to have six numbers in my positive zone. So there's, I already had one, so there's 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And now I'm adding two negative numbers. So I need to have two numbers in my negative zone. I already had one, and now I have two. Well, since I have numbers in both zones, I need to cross out the matching numbers because they equal zero. So I'm crossing out two of my numbers of my negative zone. And since I've crossed out two in the negative zone, I have to cross out two in the positive zone as well. Now, when I cross out my matching numbers, I still have numbers left in my positive zone. That's how I know my answer is going to be positive. I have one, two, three, four numbers that are still left and not crossed out. So 6 plus a negative 2 equals 4, positive 4. I put numbers into both of my zones, and I crossed out the matching ones, and I had um, 4 left over in, in the positive zone. Okay, so let's try another one though. Let's try negative six plus a positive two. And let's see what happens. So I'm gonna move these ones off real quick. And let's get these all ready to go. So I need negative 6. I'm going to move this over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So since it's negative 6, I have to put my 6 in the negative zone. Then I have 2 plus 2 in the positive zone. 1 and 2. Okay, I now have to cross out the matching ones. So I have 2 in my positive zone. I'm going to cross out 2. And 2 in my negative zone I'm going to cross out. Okay. Now since I'm still left with numbers in my negative zone, I know this number is going to be negative. And since there's 1, 2, 3, 4 in my negative zone left, I know that negative 6 plus 2 equals a negative 4. Okay. Let me show um, a, just a couple more that are real easy. Okay. I'm going to go negative 6 plus a negative 2. And we'll see what that is. Well, I need to start with a negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in my negative zone. And add two more in my negative zone. 1, 2. Now since I don't have numbers in both zones, I don't have to cross any of them out. And I know I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in my negative zone. So I know my answer is a negative 8. Another trick you can look at is if you have two negative numbers like we do here you can just add up both the numbers and then make it negative so six and two is eight and make it negative okay on the other side if i take away my negatives and six plus two well you probably know off the top of your head that's eight but i'm going to show you anyway i'm going to start with six in my positive zone so one two three, oops, three four five 
I don't want that big one though. Two, three, four, five, six. There's my six in my positive zone. And it wants two more. So six plus two. And these are positive numbers. I'm going to add two more. One and two. And since I do not have numbers in both zones, I don't have to cross any out. I can just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six plus two is eight. Okay. So use the number line if you need to, but that is just another way using negative and positive zones. You can make two boxes on your paper, cross out the numbers you don't need um, that match up. Um, that's a way that you can add positive and negative numbers. Okay. Feel free to please look at uh, my, my other videos as well, including how to use a number line to add positive and negative numbers. Hope that helped.